Good afternoon, this is Melissa with the thestockswish.com and today I wanted to do a, another market review even though I did one just a couple days ago simply because of the huge, huge, big bullish breakout bar that we had today. This, this bar here is a huge green bar and what I would call an igniting bar, a liftoff bar, a takeoff bar, this is the kind of bar that I wanted to see happen here, actually. After we broke over the $69 area, I thought we'd do that as soon as we booped over it. We went 27 cents over the area here, and we did not do this then. That's what I thought would happen as soon as we got over these people. Wait, wait, let's go back. See, this is what this looked like. And I said this wasn't toppy, and people were emailing me and telling me they thought it was, was a top, and I said, no, no, no. And, and the whole time I've been saying it's not a top, why? We didn't go anywhere. You can't have a top when you haven't gone anywhere. We haven't gone anywhere to be topping. So then we did this, and then I expected us to fall through there, and we didn't do it. Then we gapped down, and we held on the gap, and I said, ooh, ooh, ooh. And then we had three green days in a row. Do, do, do. And then all of a sudden, look at this. So this, this amazing, amazing Power trend day, we power trended all day. We power trended all day, just ran out of time, ran out of day. And, you know, we even got over 70, 70, 17. Yeah, we are even over this area here. I had a bunch of numbers written down. I thought we could crawl, crawl and crawl and crawl up here. Instead, we did it just like this. So 69.55 I had written down, then I had written down 69.80. We just were blowing through every number today, even 70. Next number, 70.50. So this is a huge big green bar that is a breakout bar. Call it an igniting bar, breakout bar, whatever you want to do. It broke out above the space today. We did do it here, but remember this is the market. This is the market. These are areas. Today was the full-on throttle. So. You know, as crazy as it sounds, I have to think about what I what we're gonna do tomorrow. I I gotta see where we're gapping tomorrow morning. I have to see what I have to see what I'm. I'm not gonna say anything until I wake up tomorrow morning and see where we're gapping. Usually things go like this: three to five to seven, three to five to seven to nine, three to five. You know, I I think tomorrow there's a possibility of carry through because of this big green bar today. We've had four bars here now. If we don't carry through tomorrow, then we could have a small bodied, narrow neutral rest day. All right. In which case we don't go higher and we don't really come in either. We could have a small bodied rest day and then continue higher after that. I don't, I don't think we're gonna have a significant pull pullback though after this day because we just broke out. There's no reason to pull back. We just broke out. Here was the pullback. If you didn't buy in here, you, you would buy in today over the break of the space. And what caused this, people that were shorting this, I thought this was toppy, number one. They had to take their positions out and blew through the stop. Uh, and also, buying, real buying. This is real buying. Let's go look at it. Power trend all day into 12.45, and then we based out the whole rest of the day. Never went anywhere. So tomorrow, we actually might follow through. There's a real chance we could follow through tomorrow green. If we don't follow through green tomorrow, we're going to rest tomorrow. But I don't think we're going to have any sizable directional day down any, any, any time tomorrow. So we're either going to have a small neutral rest day or we're going to carry through tomorrow. And the next area is this area up here, 70, 50-ish. If we see that number, which I feel very confident and have a high conviction we will, we're going to get above it. Now, whether or not we get above it on the first retest, I don't know. But even if we go anywhere near the number and touch it, we're going to go through it. Whether we go through it the day that it happens or later this month, we will. If we hit the number, which it looks like we're going to today, because this is a real buy and it came into the market. Real, real buy. And clearly the market's in an uptrend and it's been in an uptrend. Ever since this bullish gap, I said we're neutral slash bullish, and I was looking at it this way. I'm so proud of myself for seeing this correctly, especially since I'd like to trade on the bearish side. And at no time did I say this was the top. Even me, the queen of shorts, all right, the queen of bearish gaps, 
didn't didn't call this market at the top here. Didn't call it toppy. Didn't didn't say we're coming in. Didn't say anything like that. I really read it in real life time, the way that I saw the charts and the price. And I'm proud of myself for doing that. I'm really proud of myself for doing that. I didn't let anything anybody said take me off of what I saw in the charts. And obviously, a good trader doesn't do that. I saw it in real time and read it accordingly, and I was spot on. And if we go see back up to 7050, then we're going to go over it. Whether we do it the day that we test it or later is a different story. Here was the liftoff this morning, though. I, I pointed this out in the room. This it really, really takes ingenuity to see this, but here it is. Pre-market. When, when I called the market this morning, I said I, the best case scenario for the market we were gapping was we would come in first between 9.30 and 9.45 and do a buy setup and then follow through. Here, right in here, you see this. We came in right here in the morning. We came in, fell in hard here into 9.04. But we couldn't go anywhere with this. Do you see we came in here to a resistance? Right this here is a resistance. So we, we dropped off right hard here, right before the open, and fell into resistance. That's all that we did. The low of this number here actually was 68.68. There it is, these people. Look, these people. This was the liftoff. After we fell in here and didn't carry through, that was it. This was it. That was it. That was the pull-in. One red bar at 904 was the pull-in. We never saw anywhere near that number then. We drifted and waited for the market to open. And if you wanted to be aggressive, you could have bought here at a one minute, one minute high. What was the stop on this? Let me see. Here. Wow. If you saw that, you would have done it. 6893 was the entry. Stop under 87. Wow. Five cents stop. Very aggressive, but the market ran up over two bucks from that entry. And you could have added in here if you wanted to just play the market today. You could have just played the market. Here was the entry. Here was the ad. You run up in here. If you'd, you'd have to have conviction. It would make it to 70. By the way, you would have known it was going to at this point. And you could have added even in here. You could have carried the market higher all day. That's what happened. Buying just kept coming in. Where was that number down in here now? Wait, let me see. It was 68. No, hold on. 68. 68, 68. Hold on. Here, there it is. Wow, there it is. So this morning when the market came in right in here, in that one bar and lifted off and never saw the light of day again after that. That was it. That was the push off. That was a sign. That was a sign actually because the market really could have come in more and lifted through. We had rallied three green days in a row, but we didn't do it. That one red bar down right in here, look at that, held to the penny, boop, took off. Here was the entry to go long. Here was the ad, and you could have even kept kept adding to it. I and mean, this is a beautiful position. You would have kept taking some off and adding whatever you wanted to do to follow it through all the way up to 70. Really, 70, you got to be out by 70 here. Up into here, you really would have been out. But it actually went through higher. The market power trend all day. The only reason it stopped is because the, the time of the day closed. <laughs> so this is not a top, and anyone that is thinking that we're still going to be toppy at 70.50, I don't, I don't, I don't see it. I, I, don't, I don't think we're going to hold that number. And I think if we even touch that number, we're blowing over it. May, might happen in the day that it actually retests. And if it doesn't, it will happen later. Mark my words. Now, we did not touch that number yet. But I have 100% conviction that if we do, we will be over it. Even if it doesn't happen the day that it does the retest, later, later this month or into May. People are going to start buying now after today. People are going to get all excited and jump on the bandwagon. The market has made a clear direction now. And if you didn't see it the way I saw it, which was bullish the last month or four, six weeks, you've got to see this now. I mean, everyone has to see this now. This is the reason you have to learn how to read charts particularly. And it's amazing to me how some people will have a certain bias and they just won't let it go, even when the price is telling them something different. And you've 
got to read stuff real time and you have to be unbiased. I know that sounds difficult to, to say, but in order to be a good trader, in order to make quality trades, in order to really read price action correctly in real time, you must look at it for what it is. You might have wanted the market to be toppy, but I, I don't know why. Let the market carry through. This is not going to stop me from shorting bearish gaps that are on their own and rate high. And if you'd like to go long, there it is. Now you've got the clarity. There's nothing stopping you. So really, really nice call that I made in the market this morning and also seeing this for the last six weeks before it happened. That, my friends, is forecasting price action based on my own skill set which I teach to people that take my class. So if you're interested in more information on the class that I teach on trading, feel free to reach out to me. My email is melissa at thestockswoosh.com. And you can go to my YouTube site and watch many videos at The Stock Swoosh and go like me on Facebook at The Stock Swoosh too. So I hope everyone had a fabulous day trading today and a really good week. Earnings season starts next week for the second quarter of 2013. So go, 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 everyone. Go market. Good analysis here by me. And I'm just going to keep, keep in check. Keep it in check. Keep it in check. Keep the focus. Keep, keep plugging away. Keep doing my own homework and work. Keep sharpening my skills. Keep getting better. I love to trade, and, uh, and, and I really love to read charts. <laughs> so if anyone wants to reach out to me, just email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Have a great night, everybody.